Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we will discuss the causes and differential diagnosis of secondary amenorrhea. So what is secondary amenorrhea? Secondary amenorrhea refers to the absence of three or more periods in a row by someone who has had periods in the past. And what are the causes of secondary amenorrhea? We have basically eight main causes of secondary amenorrhea. And those include physiological factors, secondly, social factors, thirdly, pregnancy related conditions, then the gynecological surgery, then the different drugs, androgenizing conditions, medical and surgical conditions, and some other causes which we will discuss later on. So what are the physiological factors responsible for secondary amenorrhea? Those include pregnancy, lactation and menopause. What are the social factors responsible for secondary amenorrhea? Those include environmental stresses, marathon runners, sudden weight changes like weight loss and weight gain, anorexia nervosa. We may have certain pregnancy related conditions causing secondary amenorrhea and that include the Sheehan syndrome and the Asherman syndrome. What are the gynecological conditions causing secondary amenorrhea? Those include hysterectomy, endometrial ablations and ovarectomy. What drugs are responsible for causing secondary amenorrhea? We have a list of drugs like first of all Danazole, GnRH analogues like Gosarlene, oral contraceptive pills, phenothiazines like prochlorpyrazine, metoclopramide, samatidine, reserpine, digoxin, tricyclic antidepressants, and pelvic irradiations. What are the conditions which causes secondary amenorrhea and those are androgenizing conditions? The androgenizing conditions include polycystic ovarian disease, secondly, virilizing ovarian tumor, thirdly, the adrenal tumor and the congenital adrenal hyperplasia. What medical and surgical conditions cause the secondary amenorrhea? Those include, first of all, the Cushing syndrome, secondly, thyroid disorder, thirdly, the pituitary tumors. And which are the other multiple conditions which cause the secondary amenorrhea? Those include endometrial tuberculosis, secondly, pseudocyesis, thirdly, lymphocytic adenohypophysitis. Now here we have a complete list of all those causes which I mentioned to you. And these are basically the eight causes. First, physiological causes which include pregnancy, lactation, and menopause. Secondly, the social factors like environmental stresses, marathon runners, sudden weight changes and weight, like weight gain and weight loss, anorexia nervosa, pregnancy-related conditions like Sheehan syndrome and Asherman syndrome, the gynecological conditions like hysterectomy, endometrial ablations, and ovarectomy, the different drugs like Danazol, GnRH analogues like Gosarlene, oral contraceptive pills, phenothiazines like Prochlorpyrazine, metoclopramide, cimetidine, reserpine, digoxin, tricyclic antidepressants, and pelvic irradiations. The androgenizing conditions include polycystic ovarian disease, virilizing ovarian tumor, adrenal tumor, congenital adrenal hyperplasia. The medical conditions include Cushing syndrome, thyroid disorders, pituitary tumors. Other conditions include endometrial tuberculosis, pseudocyesis, and lymphocytic adenohypophysitis. So that brings us to the end of my presentation. I would like to end it with these golden words. When you are content to be simply yourself and do not compare or compete, everyone will respect you. Personality begins where comparison leaves off. Be unique, be memorable, be confident, be proud. So never compare yourself with anyone else. So thank you so much for your patience and kind listening. Wish you all the best. Allah Hafiz.